Hello there, this is Asian95 and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War multiplayer open guide. In this 11th episode, we'll be taking a look at the second unlock tactical rifle, the M16. The American classic assault rifle, in service since the Vietnam War. The M16 once again returns in Black Ops Cold War as the A2 version with a 3 round burst by default in multiplayer. The M16 is a moderate damage tactical rifle with an ability to kill within 3 shots or 1 burst. The effective range, however, is short at just 21.59 meters. Beyond this, you need 4 shots or 2 bursts. It is possible to kill the enemy within 3 shots should they strike the head, but can be difficult due to the M16's moderate recoil. The rate of fire within the burst is fast at 909 rounds per minute giving the M16 a really fast time to kill should all of your 3 shots connect. Though the burst delay will reduce the overall fire rate, missing your shots with the M16 can buy enough time for the enemy to return fire or flee to cover. Muscle velocity is fast at 725 meters per second, faster than all the sniper rifles, and giving the rifle far greater consistency against far and moving targets. The burst delay means the M16's recoil will settle between each time you pull the trigger, though the recoil itself within the burst is moderate and mostly kicks upward. This does limit your ability to accurately stay on target at long distance, and multiple bursts will be required. Aim time is standard for the tactical rifle class at 350 milliseconds, with the assault rifle's movement speed of 95%. The magazine size is 30 rounds by default or 10 bursts. Extended options are available in 45 or 54. A tactical reload animation will take 2.18 seconds and can occur frequently given that you can fire this rifle 10 times within one magazine. Despite the nerf of this weapon, the M16 is still a deadly weapon compared to other offerings outside the sniper rifles, with fast fire rate and one burst kill ability. Though there are some inconsistencies, mainly its recoil and short effective range. Regardless of how you want to approach with M16, you want to put a heavy emphasis on killing the enemy within one burst, as this is the true advantage of this rifle. The 20.5 inch match grade barrel increases the range of the one burst kill to the body from 21 to 43 meters, making the M16 far more effective as the tactical rifle that deals high damage output outside the SMG range. To enhance the accuracy, elect the infantry compensator and field agent foregrip that will reduce much of the M16's recoil for greater shot placement. Both of these accessories will help make your shots count at long distance, at a cost of a decrease in mobility, which is not an issue if you utilize this weapon from a far distance. All of these three attachments will make the M16 more consistent in terms of range and accuracy permitting the one burst kill potential within 43 meters while staying on target. The iron sights are fine to use, but for a precision weapon that demands fine aiming, having the low powered scope such as the Vision Tech 2 times is beneficial, with a large and clear view on your target for easier tracking at mid to long range. I also recommend you switch a default reticle to colored options for better contrast against dark environments. Other attachment slots can be filled with a fast ADS grip like the Airborne Elastic Wrap to permit a first shot advantage with flinch reduction, and mounted flashlight to help spot enemies quicker. For the wildcard, you can either utilize the Gunfighter to maximize the M16's versatility with 8 attachments, or perk greed for an allotment of 6 perks of your choice. Resistive and awareness perks like Flak Jacket, Spycraft, Cold Blooded, and Paranoia are my recommendations. With enhanced effective range and accuracy, the M16 is fast and deadly. You should employ this rifle within medium range to prevent being outgunned by faster opponent up close, or losing the one burst kill ability at long distance. Stay close to a cover and long sight line will give the enemy a hard time to shoot at you accurately and it makes it easier for you to get a one burst kill as they are moving directly towards you. Overall, the M16 still remains effective as a fast time to kill weapon, with SMG like fire rate and high damage compared to most weapon classes. This effective range is really short at just 20 meters, 
the range where the SMGs are usually effective. And you need more than one burst to kill quite often, with a burst delay that would increase your time to kill by a significant margin. You could try to land all three shots to the head at long distance, but the vertical recoil of the M16 will easily knock you off target as you struggle to land shots within the same spot. But with the right attachment setup, the M16 will perform better as the mid-range tactical rifle, with greater reach while retaining the lethal one burst kill to the body. It is a high-risk, high-reward weapon, with your accuracy being put to test, and a swift takedown as your reward. And that concludes the guide of the M16 tactical rifle. For the next episode, it's the RPD light machine gun. This is Asian95. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.